Welcome back and here we are with another topic, the rules of drawing ray diagrams in mirrors. So let's start with a plane mirror. We all know that image formed by a plane mirror is always erect and virtual. The image will be of same size and at the same distance as the object. The image shows lateral inversion. And what is this lateral inversion? Children, you might have all seen that when you raise your left hand in front of a plane mirror, the image inside the mirror shows the right hand. That is lateral inversion. The image formed by a plane mirror is real or virtual? Of course it is virtual. Now let's see an instance when such a mirror gives an inverted image. Have an object here and the image is vertically inverted. And when is it happening? Image formed by a plane mirror is always erect and virtual. It is of the same size and at the same distance as the object. If the object is placed erect as shown in the figure, then the image will be inverted. Now let's see the number of images when two mirrors are placed at different angles. Now we have a formula that is to find the number of images. N is equal to 360 divided by theta minus 1. And theta is the angle at which two mirrors are placed. For instance, we have different angles like 45, 60, 90, 120 and 180. So let's see the first one. N is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. That's equal to 360 divided by 45. That is equal to 8. And 8 minus 1, we get 7. So the total number of images when two mirrors are placed at 45 degree angle is 7. Now the second instance when it is 60, that is 360 divided by 60, we have 6 and minus 1, we have 5. So when two mirrors are placed at an angle of 60, the number of images is 5. When the angle is at 90 degree, we have 3 images and when the angles are 120 and 180, we have 2 and 1 each. Now let's see the rules for drawing the ray diagrams in concave mirror. Now let's see the concave mirror. Concave mirror is also called the converging mirror. Principal axis. Principal axis is a straight line that joins the pole of the mirror to its center of curvature. And pole, pole, is the geometrical center of the spherical surface of the mirror. We have the focus, we have the center of curvature. Center of curvature of the mirror is the center of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. The focal length, that is the length between the pole and the focus. And children always remember that C is equal to 2F. That is, the center of curvature is always double that of focus. Basic rules to be followed while drawing the ray diagrams. Ray parallel to principal axis will pass through focus. Ray passing through the center of curvature will emerge without deviation. Ray passing through focus will become parallel to principal axis.
ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is kept beyond the center of curvature of the concave mirror. The object is placed beyond the center of curvature. So as we know, the first ray that is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus. And the second ray that passes through the center of curvature passes without any deviation. And at the point of intersection, we have the image. And the characteristics of the image is that the image is real, inverted and diminished and the position of the image is between C and F. Now the ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is between the center of curvature and focus of the concave mirror. The object is placed between the center of curvature and the focus. The first ray that is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus. The ray that is passing through the focus passes parallel to the principal axis. And at the point of intersection, we have the image. Position of the image is beyond C. The characteristics of the image is real, inverted, and magnified. Now, actually, you might have noticed the difference that when the object is beyond C, the image is between the center of curvature and focus. And when the object is between C and F, the image is beyond C. Now, let's see the ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is kept at the center of curvature. When the object is at center of curvature, let's draw the diagram. The ray that is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus and the ray that passes through the focus is parallel to principal axis. And at the point of intersection, we have the image. Now the characteristics of the image, the image is real, inverted, and is of the same size as that of the object. And the position of the image is at C. Next, we have the ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is kept at focus. The principal axis, the object is at focus. The ray that is parallel to the principal axis passes through focus and the next ray is drawn through the center of curvature touching the object. And we know that the ray that passes through the center of curvature passes without any deviation. So the image is formed at infinity. Now let's see the ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is kept at infinity. When the object is at infinity, the rays that is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus. So the point of intersection is at the focus. So the image is also formed at the focus. Next, we have the ray diagram showing the position of image when the object is kept between pole and the focus of a concave mirror. The ray that is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus, but the second ray 
edge drawn through the center of curvature and we know that there is no deviation when a ray passes through the center of curvature. So the image is virtual, erect and magnified and the image is always formed behind the mirror. Now children, we have to be very careful when we draw the ray diagram for a convex mirror. For a convex mirror, the ray that is parallel to the principal axis always diverges and the extension is made to the focus. So let's see the ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is kept in between infinity and the pole of a convex mirror. So we have the object between infinity and the pole of the convex mirror. The ray that is parallel to the principal axis will diverge and the extension is made to the focus. The next ray is drawn to the center of curvature and we know that the ray that joins the center of curvature will pass without any deviation. And at the point of intersection, we have the image and the characteristics of the image is that it is formed behind the mirror. The image is virtual, erect and diminished. Next, we have the ray diagram showing the position of the image when the object is at infinity of a convex mirror. The object is placed at infinity. The ray that is parallel to the principal axis diverges and the extension is made to the focus and the image is formed at the point of intersection. That is the point of intersection is at the focus. The image is formed at the focus and is behind the mirror. 